Many people think pets are allergic because of their hair, but actually we're allergic to their dander or skin cells, their urine or their saliva. So if an animal licks the skin of a patient who's allergic, sometimes hives can break out at that site. About 10% of people have allergies in general and uh, not necessarily to pets, but when people are allergic, they can have allergies to many things. So when kids are running around at the rodeo, you wanna be careful if they have allergies to watch for symptoms. With dry hay or grass, because we live in Houston in a humid area, mold can grow. So mold spores are allergens or things that can cause allergy. So if a person is allergic to mold, the hay exposure may trigger symptoms. For people who are allergic, I recommend taking the Claritin or if there's a lot of nasal congestion, taking nasal spray up to one week before going to the rodeo or even three days. That will help decrease the symptoms. So at the rodeo, because there's so many different foods which taste fantastic, they may have different ingredients in them than what a person is normally eating. I recommend that for people who know that they're allergic to food, before they eat anything at the rodeo, they ask the restaurant or the vendor what ingredients are in this food. I recommend they avoid foods where there are no ingredients listed and or they don't find out what ingredients are present.